We are going to start today, inshallah, with Surah Al Jasiya. We have seen that most of the surahs of the Quran are in the form of pairs. This relationship has been very evident regarding these last four surahs of the Hamim series. We have seen the Surah Al Zuhruf and Surah Al Dukhan. Both started Hamim Wal Kitab Al Mubin. Both of them. Now the next pair. Surah Al-Jasiya and Surah Al-Ahqaf, both starting Hamim Tanzeel Al-Kitab Min Allah Al-Aziz Al-Hakim. Also we find that most of these surahs begin with the mention of Qur'an. Now Hamim Tanzeel Al-Kitab Min Allah Al-Aziz Al-Hakim, sending down of this book is from Allah, who is all-powerful, all-wise. إِنَّ فِي السَّمَابَاتِ وَالْأَرْضِ لَآيَاتِ لِلْمُؤْمِنِينَ Verily, in the heavens and the earth there are signs for those people who believe. وَفِي خَلْقِكُمْ وَمَا يَبُسُّ مِنْ دَابَّةٍ آيَاتٌ لِقَوْمِ يُوْكَنُونَ And also in your creation and that which he has spread, the moving creatures, there are signs for those people who are convinced. وَاخْتِلَافِ اللَّيْلِ وَالنَّهَارِ In the same way, in the alternation of the night and the day. وَمَا أَنْدَرَ اللَّهُ مِنَ السَّمَاءِ بِالْبِسْتِنِ And what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sends down from the heaven, from sustenance. فَأَحْيَا بِهِ الْأَرْضَ بَعْدَ مَوْتِهَا And then He revives the earth or land after its death. وَتَصْرِيفِ الْرِيَاحِ And in the changing of the direction of the winds. In all these things there are signs for a people who understand. And these are the revelations of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala which we are reciting unto you with truth, with a purpose. Then in what discourse after Allah and His revelations will they believe? If they are rejecting the ayat of Allah, now what will they believe? Well, only kulli afakin asim. Woe to every sinful liar. Yes, ma'u ayat in lahi tutla alay. He listens to the revelations of Allah recited to him. Summa yusirru mustakbiran. Then he persists and insists in arrogance. Kallam yasbaha. He behaves as if he had not heard them. فَبَشِّرْهُ بِعَذَابِ النَّلِيمِ So give him a glad tiding of a very painful chastisement. وَإِذَا عَلِمَ مِنْ آيَاتِنَا شَيْءٍ اتَّخَذَهَا حُضُوَا And when he comes to know from our revelation something, he takes them in mockery. أُولَائِكَ لَهُمْ عَذَابٌ مَّغْوِينَ For them, there is the chastisement which is humiliating and degrading. مِوَرَائِهِمْ جَهَنَّمْ Behind them is the hell. وَلَا يُغْنِي عَنُمْ مَا كَسَبُوا شَيَّنْ Whatever they have earned during this life of theirs, it will be of no avail to them. وَلَا مَتَّخَدُوا مِنْ دُونِ اللَّهِ أَوْلِيَا And also, the gods, false gods and protectors, they have taken unto themselves, besides Allah, they will also be of no avail. وَلَهُمْ عَذَابٌ عَظِيمٌ and for them will be a mighty chastisement. Hada hudan. This is the guidance. Walladina kafaru bi ayat rabbi. As for those who reject and disbelieve in the revelations of your of their Lord, lahum azabu medizan alim. For them shall be a painful chastisement of wrath. Allahu ladi sakhar lakum al bahar. Allah is He who has subjected the sea. To you, the tajri al full kofiye be amrehi, so that the ships may sail through it by his command. But the tamtahu bin fadli, and so that you can seek out of his bounty. Wala Allah kum tashkurun, or so that you become thankful to Allah. But sakhara lakum maafi samawati wa maafi lete jamia. This ayah is very noteworthy. 
the emphasis, jamia, and he has subjected to you everything that is in the heavens and everything which is in the earth, all of them. This <coughs> clearly tell, tells you know, the position of man as vacuant of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Not only those things which are in this world and this earth and round about it, they have been subjected to man. Whole universe has been subjected. So now, when we are conquering the space, this is actually in line with the Quran has said. Allah had already subjected this whole universe to us. It's only the time which has elapsed, you know, just as a seed has to take some time to become a plant. In the same way, this progeny of Adam had to take some time to get all that knowledge that it has gathered. And we can't say up to what more limits this human knowledge is to go. Actually, this has to go to the level of the Jal. When all the forces of nature would be subjected to the Jal, he will have conquered all the forces of the nature. And that is why he will, he will then claim, I am God. When I have conquered the whole of the universe, then I am God. But سَخْرَ لَكُمْ مَا فِي السَّمَاوَاتِ وَمَا فِي الْأَرْضِ جَمِيعًا جَمِيعًا مِنْهُ إِنَّ فِي ذَلِكَ لَآيَاتِ لِقَوْمِ يَتَفَكَّرُونَ Verily, in this are the signs for those people who reflect and ponder. قُلْ لِلَّذِينَ آمَنُوا يَغْفِرُوا لِلَّذِينَ لَا يَرْجُونَ اِيَّابَ اللَّهِ O Prophet say to these those people who have come to believe, your followers, يَغْفِرُوا They should forgive. For some why, for a why, those people who don't hope and don't expect the days of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Now this ayyam Allah, we have been mentioning it many a times. The, in the terminology of Quran, the days in which the big command of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala was executed, destroying whole nations. وَذَكِّرْهُمْ بِأَيَّامِ اللَّهِ Taskeer be Allah illah and Taskeer be Ayyam illah. I mentioned these two terms adopted by Shah Waliullah Dehlvi, Rahmatullahi alayhi. So because they don't fear it, so give them some respite. Let them ponder, let them think. Don't wish that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala would bring them the chastisement immediately. قُلْ لِلَّذِينَ آمَنُوا يَغْفِرُوا لِلَّذِينَ لَا يَرْجُونَ عَيَّابَ اللَّهِ لِيَجْزِيَا قَوْمٌ بِمَا كَانُوا يَقْسِبُونَ So that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala fully rewards the people of what they do. You give them time so that they can show what amount of evil they have within them. Let the whole evil come out. مَنْ عَمِلَ صَالِحًا فَلِ نَفْسِهِ Whosoever does good deeds, he does it for his own sake. وَمَنْ أَسَافْ عَلَيْهَا And if he commits some evil, well, it is against himself. ثُمَّ إِلَىٰ رَبِّكُمْ تُرْجَعُونَ And then, to your Lord, you will be returned. وَلَقَدْ آتَيْنَا بَنِي سَعِدَ الْكِتَابَ وَالْحُكْمَ وَالْنُبُوَةِ And we had given the children of Israel the book and the judgment and prophethood. And حُكْم can mean kingdom also. The book, the kingdom and the prophethood. وَرَزَقْنَاهُ مِنَ الطَّيِّبَاتِ And we provided them with good things. وَفَضَّلْنَاهُمْ عَلَى الْعَالَمِينَ This is for the fourth time in Quran about Bani Israel. And we raised them higher than all the nations of the world. Actually in Quran, Alameen, literally it should mean all the worlds. But this is a style of Quran that taking the plural something, But what is meant is the thing that is in that. So plural denotes to that. Alameen, all the nations of the world, all the peoples of the world. Fadwalnahumar al-Alameen. Twice in Surah Al-Baqarah, once last night, and now here again for the fourth time. 
clear proofs of the command, the Ten Commandments that Allah gave them. Afterwards, they didn't differ. But after the knowledge had come to them, and the reason was their jealousy, mutual jealousy, mutual, you know, hatred, you may call. They are to dominate over each other. In the Verily, your Lord will judge between them on the day of the judgment, on the day of resurrection. In all those matters in which they had been differing. And then, O Muhammad وسلم, we have established you on a sharia of our command. Now it's very important to note, the sharia is after Moses to Muhammad Hazrat Masih didn't bring any sharia. It was hikmah as we have read last night. Hikmah, wisdom, the essence of iman and faith. But the sharia was the same. And he said so. His words are still preserved in the gospel. Don't think I have come to destroy law. This law of Moses will remain. But now Quran has come. And this is the new sharia. Summa jalna ka ala shariyati min al-labr. Then we have established you on the sharia of our command. Fattabe ha. So you have to follow that. Wala tattabe ahwa al-lazina la ya'lamoon. And don't follow the caprices or the wishes or the lusts of those people who don't know. Innahum lai yuhunu anka bin Allah shayya. They will not be able to save you from Allah. Not at all. Wa inna zalimina ba'adhum awliya ba'az. These evil doers, they are friends to each other. Some of them are friends to each other. Wallahu ba waliyul muttaqeen. As for the God-fearing, the friend and the protector is Allah. Haza basairu linnas. These are enlightenments for the people. Wa hudan. And guidance. Wa rahmatul liqawmi yuqinun. And mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for the people who are convinced. Am hasib al-lazina ijtarahu sayyat wa naj'alahum kal lazina amanu wa amil salihat sawaam mahyahu wa mamatu. Do these people who are committing and doing evil deeds, they think that we shall make them and those people who have come to believe and who are doing good deeds equal? How is it possible? If you have disbelieved, they are believing. You are doing bad deeds, they are doing good deeds. How can they be equal? Sawaam mahyahu wa mamatu. Will their living and dying be equal? Saam ayahkumun. Very wrong is the judgment or the opinion that they have formed. Wa khalaq Allahu samawati wa ladha bil haq. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has created the heaven and the earth with Truth, that is means with the purpose. There is nothing purposeless over here. And so that every soul is recompensed whatever it has earned. And they will not be wronged. No injustice will be done to them. Now comes one of the most important ayat of Quran regarding shirk. The practical aspect of shirk. Afaraeta manit takhaza ilaha hu havaho. Have you seen or considered the case of a person who has taken his own nafs? That means the lusts and desires of the nafs of the Eden libido as a god for himself. He is saying with his tongue, La ilaha illallah, La ilaha illallah, repeating and repeating and repeating. But actually, he has made his desires, his lusts, God. Why? He is obeying them without seeing whether it is halal or haram. It is permissible or prohibited by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. 
a desire emerges from your id or libido, from amongst your animal instincts, and you follow the desire, you fulfill it. All gratification of that desire you do without seeing whether the way you have adopted is permissible according to Sharia of Allah or prohibited. So now who is your Lord? Your God is your nafs. Now nobody has ever bowed towards his nafs or prostrated before the nafs. But this is, this is the practical issue. I might think and my, I might be proud. I am 100% muwahid. Because as far as the tawheed in creed is concerned, tawheed fil aqeedah, well, I, I am satisfied that I have fully understood it and I take it. But what about this practical side? Ta'is abdu dinare wa abdu dirham. Woe to the servant of dinar and dirham, bondsman of dirham or dinar. His name is Abdul Rahman. Actually, he is Abdul Dinar. When he is after getting Dinar, without seeing whether it is halal for him or haram, the love of Dinar, the love of dirham, the love of money and wealth, is more in their hearts than the love of Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. So, who is, who is their Lord? Who is their God? Practically, wealth. They are worshiping wealth. Worshipping dollars, worshipping pounds, worshipping rupees, <coughs> and takas, etc., etc. Afarayata mani takhada ilahahu hawahu, wa atallahu allahu ala ilmin, and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has led him astray, despite all his knowledge. He is a PhD, PhD in tafsir. He got a PhD from McGill in Hadith, in Fiqh, but he is the boss man of his wishes. You might be an alim, you might be a mufassir, you might be a muhaddis, you might be a faqih, you might be a mufti, but if you are serving your lusts and desires irrespective of whether something is permissible or prohibited, then you are mushrik in the eyes of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. فَخَتَمَ عَلَىٰ سَمْهِ وَقَلْبِهِ وَجَعَلَىٰ عَلَىٰ بَصْرِهِ غِشَاوَةً And of such a person Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has put a seal on his heart and on his hearing and there is a curtain before his eyes. فَمَنْ يَحْدِيهِ مِنْ بَعْدِ اللَّهِ Now who can give him the guidance after Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who, who, who has, so to say, put a seal on his heart. Afala tazakkaruhu. So, are they not admonished or reminded? Waqalu mahi illa hayatuna dunya namutu wa nahiya. And they say, there is no other life for us except this life or this world. Nahi illa hayatuna dunya. Namutu. We die ourselves. Wa nahiya. And live ourselves. Now, he and you meet means Allah gives life, Allah puts you to death. They said, no, no, no. We die ourselves. We live ourselves. This is the materialism of this age. There's nobody. This is the world of matter. There are laws of physical change, laws of chemical change. And these laws, this universe is going. There's no need of some controller and some somebody running this universe. No. We don't believe. Mama And nothing kills us except the time. Time passes and we are finished. That's all. No God. This is Dahriyat. You might have heard this word. Dahriyat. Materialism. Dahriyat. Mama yuhlekuna illa dhar. وَمَا لَهُمْ بِذَلِكَ مِنْ عِلْمٍ They don't have any knowledge of it. إِنْهُمْ لَا يَذُنُّونَ They are only conjecturing, guessing. 
Where are tutla alay mayatuna bayinatin? And whenever clear revelations are recited unto them, maakana hujjatuhum. Their last argument is, illa antaluktu bi abayda in kuntum sadiqeen. In the long run, in the end, they always used to say, okay, if there is going to be resurrection, bring our forefathers before us. Then we shall believe that yes, there can be resurrection. Qul Allahu yuhiyikum. Say, Allah will revive you. Summa yumitukum. Allah is keeping you alive, yuhiyikum. Summa yumitukum. Then He will put you to death. Summa yadmaukum ila yawm al-qiyamat illa ala ibafi. Then He will gather you all together to the day of resurrection. In which there is no doubt. وَلَكِنْ نَاكْسَرَ النَّاسِ لَا يَعْلَمُونَ But most of the people know not. وَلِلَّهِ مُلْكُ السَّمَاوَاتِ وَالْأَرْضِ And for Allah is the sovereignty and kingdom of the heavens and the earth. وَيَوْمَ تَقُومُ السَّاعَةِ And the day on which the hour will come. يَوْمَ إِذِنْ يَخْسَرُ الْمُفْتِلُونَ On that day, the followers of falsehood will be the losers. وَتَرَا كُلَّ أُمَّةٍ جَاسِيَةٍ كُلَّ أُمَّةٍ جَاسِيَةٍ You will see all the nations. They will be kneeling down. كُلَّ أُمَّةٍ تُرَا إِلَىٰ كِتَابِهَا Every ummah, every group, every nation will be called towards the book of the record of its events and deeds. And then, الْيَوْمَ تُجْدَوْنَ مَا كُنْتُمْ تَعْمَلُونَ and then it will be said, today you will be rewarded and recompensed for what you had been doing. Haza kitabuna, this record of ours, this book of ours, yantakwa alaykum il haq. It is speaking against you with truth. There is nothing wrong in this record. As I said, it might be a computer, a big joint computer. Simply, you press a button and the life of a person, of an individual, the whole film might start. Now, how can you deny? You are doing it. See it. Is it not you? How will you deny? Hada kitabuna yante ko alayku bilhaq. Inna kunna nastam sekhu ma kuntum tamalun. We had been writing and recording what you are doing. Fama lazi na amalu, wa amir swalihat. Now, so those who came to believe and they did good deeds. فَيُدْخِلُهُمْ رَبُّهُمْ فِي رَحْمَتِهِ So their Lord will admit them, make them enter His mercy. ذَلِكَ هُوَ الْفَوْضُ الْمُبِينَ And that will be definitely the most manifest success. وَأَمَّا لَذِينَ كَفَرُوا أَفَلَمْ تَكُنْ آيَاتٍ تُطْلَعَ لَيْكُمْ As for those who disbelieved, it will be said to them, Was not my revelation recited to you? فَاسْتَقْ بَرْتُمْ but do you show arrogance? Lakuntum common mujrimin. And verily you are the guilty people, criminals. And when it was said that the promise of Allah is true and that our will come, there is no doubt about it. Kuntum ma nadri You said we don't know, we can't understand. What is this hour? In Nazunno Illa Zannan. This ayah, as I understand it, is, is we can say that the condition of most of us is reflected in this ayah. You think, yes, your arguments are convincing. It seems that a day of judgment should come. The virtuous people should get the reward. It's very logical. And the culprits and those people who were rebellious towards their Lord, they must be punished. Yes. But, in Nazunno Illa Zannan, we do feel what you are saying is correct. It might happen. But, But we are not convinced. And unless the conviction is there, there will be no change in your behavior. A dogma, believing in the day after the last day and resurrection, but not the conviction. So you will spend everything to get this world. 
unless there's a conviction that that day has to come and there's going to be the life of hereafter and that will be the eternal and that will be the real life. Unless this conviction is there, your attitudes, your behavior in this world will not change. وَإِذَا قِيلَ إِنَّ بَعْدَ اللَّهِ حَقٌّ وَالسَّعَاتُ الْعَرَيْبَ فِيهَا قُلْتُمْ مَا نَدْرِي مَا السَّعَاةُ إِنَّ ذُنُّ إِلَّا زَنَّنْ وَمَا نَحْنُ بِمُسْتَيْقِنِينَ We do feel it might happen, yes, but we are not convinced. وَبَدَا لَهُمْ سَيِّعَاتُ مَا عَمِلُوهُ And then the evils that they had committed will come before them. وَحَاقَ بِهِمْ مَا كَانُوا بِهِ يَسْتَحْزِئُونَ about which they were be mocking. They were mocking. What is Jannah? What is Jahannam? They were laughing at it. But now those things will come before them as realities. It will be said to them, Today we shall forget you. Just as you forgot the meeting of the day, of this day of today, you just ignored it, so we are going to ignore you. Go away. Vama vakumunar. And your abode is fire. Vama lakum in nafsirin. And there are no helpers for you. Zalikum bi annakum takhustum ayati la hosuvan. This is because you took the revelations of Allah in mockery. Vagarat kumul hayatu dunya. And the life of that world previous world, it deceived you, deluded you. So today you will not be taken out of this hell. Nor they will be given any leave to appeal. Okay, apologize. When you give this permission to somebody, what does it mean? If you apologize, I'll forgive you. But no, there this door will be closed. No leave of appeal or apology. فَلِلَّهِ الْحَمْدُ رَبِّ السَّمَابَاتِ وَرَبِّ الْلَرْسِ So, for Allah is the all praise who is the Lord of the heavens and the Lord of the earth. رَبِّ الْعَالَمِينَ Who is the Lord of all the worlds. وَلَهُ الْكِبْرِيَاءُ فِي السَّمَابَاتِ وَالْلَرْضِ And to Him belongs the dominion and majesty of the heavens and the earth. وَهُوَ الْعَزِيدُ الْحَكِيمُ and he is all-powerful, all-wise.